Hello, I'm Ola Nikwala. Career shifts and strategic decisions in companies. That's a serious and a very big thing. Senior managers always come to Gibbs Business School wanting to know how can they play a much more meaningful role within an organization. And to talk to us about this important matter, let's welcome Dr. Shalin Lu, senior lecturer. You get a lot of senior managers coming to the business school wanting to get assistance in relation to strategic decision making. Tell me about that. Golani, yes, I think uh, business managers, particularly after the economic downturn, are experiencing ex immense and complex situations, immensely pressured situations in which they have to operate. And uh, within that, career decision making is not an easy matter. Uh, you would remember when you were a young guy yeah. setting out to choose your own career. Um, it becomes even harder as you reach higher levels in organizations. Imagine, yeah. your, your opportunities are fewer. Mm. And at the same time, you are facing so many pressures and so many complex situations and even ambiguous situations. Uh, and to try and make a decision in that context is very hard about your career. Um, and to build on that, you know, I recently ran a focus group and people are talking about a tsunami of legislations that are impacting on their work lives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they are experiencing change in, in management. They are having to adjust the rules by which they operate. And I think that makes all of this quite difficult for, for senior managers, managers, and knowledge workers that we meet here at the business school. But a lot of people also want to, want to play a bigger role in strategic decision making in, in companies. Absolutely. I think a huge need is for people to be able to shift their thinking. Uh, to understand really what it is to be a strategic leadership decision maker. Um, I always say that the measure of whether you're a strategic decision maker is the extent to which you are able to go beyond yourself, uh, beyond your organization, um, beyond uh, the current realities and make decisions that are relevant for the future and relevant for other people as opposed to just for yourself. Again, I suppose it, it takes me to the next question about the skills that you require in order to move to that level where, where you make these important strategic decisions in an organization. Well, Annie, yes, I think it's, uh, there's a wide range of skills that you require. Um, I'm doing some research that really pinpointing six factors that are critical in this area. I think the very first thing is you need to be a realist. You need to build your decisions on sound knowledge, on information that are relevant, uh, that are well informed, that your processes are apt accurate that you follow mm. um, but beyond that you need to be a leader that's where this word leader comes into all of this uh, your decisions can't just focus on what's good for you you need to expand your decisions to take into account the value for other people and when, when I talk about other people I'm not just referring to the people you deal directly with but the larger uh, society and you see that companies are progressively becoming interested in triple bottom line. Mm. They're looking at ways of, of benefiting the community and that is the essence of a leadership decision. And there are various other factors as well. Uh, you have to think about being a change agent. You have to uh, make decisions that don't just maintain the status quo but actually shift realities for people and you have to be quite innovative in that. Those are some of the aspects you have to think about. Um, and amidst of all of that, you need to see your organization as part of a complex system. And uh, I think that's hard for, for people to, mm. to not just think of the organizations the way they are, mm. but to start understanding what impacts on the, on the organization. That's quite important because, because again, you, you're operating in, a, in a, a very negative global economic environment. That's right. And you've got to consider that, but you've also got to consider your own organization because it's got its own uh, objectives. It's got, a, it's got a, you know, certain targets that it has to reach. Profitability mm. remains the key uh, reason for business but beyond that one needs to consider a whole range of other factors uh, when you make business decisions mm. uh, one cannot just for instance make decisions based purely on profitability you have to think on the of the long-term sustainability of your business mm. but also the role it plays in the larger society so sure but important. another thing of people will be saying well if I want to get to that level then of mm. being that strategic thinker, what is it that I need to do? Do I need to go to a business school? Do I need to, what, what do I have to do? Yeah, that's very interesting. I, I always ask myself, how do you become somebody else? How do you become better? 
at, at who you are. And there's really three core things that you can do. The first thing is you need to raise better awareness of how you operate as a decision maker and leader. We always think we're fantastic, but, but to get some feedback uh, on how you really operate, whether you're really focusing beyond yourself, mm. is possibly the first step that you need to take. Mm. Second thing you can do is change the way you think. And obviously you do that by accumulating new knowledge uh, and experiences. Um, one has to ask yourself, what, do, what are you reading? Mm. Is it really expanding you beyond who you are? Are you only thinking about the things that are important to your current role? Mm. Or are you expanding your thinking uh, to include maybe tr future trends or what's happening in the economy mm. um, and what's happening in society as a, at large? So when one thinks about this thing, you position yourself to showcase yourself as a strategic thinker mm which hopefully can open up some career doors and also give you greater impact in what you do. A last thing I would say that one needs to do is to immerse yourself in experiences where you can make strategic decisions. Uh, you could join project groups or work groups that helps you to think about things beyond your current scope. Organizations of cultures Organizational cultures sometimes make it difficult uh, for people to reach that level. Um, and you've got to go through a lot in order be, for you to get to a level where you participate strategically in an organization. What do you do in order to deal with that? Golani, well, it's absolutely true. Um, and I think the thing is just to do it. Uh, to go be, Not to wait for somebody to invite you to, to higher level po positions, but to position yourself to do things. Culturally, people tend to, uh, to push people down mm. at times. Uh, people are envious of their own senior positions and it's very important to just position yourself by the actions you do mm. one day when you need it for that position the door will open I think that's that's the key to that but a very valid point you make thank you very much